my friend to be harmed. We're not here to harm anybody. She's not going to be harmed. Just like you walking out on your own, that's what we're hoping she does as well. Thank you. I teach you. I teach you. I teach you. This is a public university. All right, guys. So I caught this little interesting story here about how there's some people in our society that believe that they are entitled and that the rules don't apply to them okay and as soon as they are punished for not following the rules that everybody else has to follow in society um they want to pull the victimhood card right they want to cry racism and that is kind of what happened here um in this story in which uh, a blm leader was physically removed from a mayoral debate and then suggest that race played a factor in uh the fact that she was removed now i want to talk about this story real quick because again it's just another example of how entitled some of these people are again they don't have to play by the same rules as everybody else because they believe that their skin color gives them privilege right and uh when they're faced with reality <laughs> that their skin color does not in fact give them special privileges over everybody else um again they want to cry racism and whoa it's me <laughs> you know but before we get in that i just want to let you guys know if you like my channel you want to support my channel you can do so using the links in the description below you support the patreon you support the paypal you support the merch there are multiple ways to support the channel if you would like to do so so with that being said let's go ahead and get into this a dramatic video circulating online shows the moment a Black Lives Matter leader in Los Angeles was forcibly carried out of an arena where mayoral candidates were holding a debate. The video, shared by Melina Abdullah, a BLM leader and a Cal State Los Angeles professor who said she was, quote, brutally removed from the closed event as she did not possess a ticket to be there, the Los Angeles Times reported. Quote, debate should be public, especially at a public university, uh, Abdullah said in a statement to the outlet, noting there was only a small attendance at the near empty theater. Hmm. So you didn't have a ticket, right? But you expected to be able to attend a debate for free when everybody else paid. So let's actually um, watch this video here. And it's hard to see what's, what exactly is going on. But if you pay attention kind of to this right here, you can see the police approach her and go from there, but you can hear the audio here. Why are the people being allowed in? Why are the people not allowed in? Let the people in. Yeah, so that was her in that video, uh, basically being approached by the police and the police escorting <laughs> slash dragging her off because she doesn't have a ticket to be there, right? She's not supposed to be there. Um, and this video right here is more up close, so you can actually see. This is a public university. This is a public university. That's her. This is a public university. It's a public university. It's a public university. Okay, and it looks like she's sitting in special seats too. Right, seats that are obviously reserved, and uh, for whatever reason, she she feels like you know she's entitled to to be there, even though again she's not supposed to be there, <laughs> right? It's public university. Well, you know, I hope that that's the argument she uses when it comes to conservatives speaking at public universities, right? That hey, this public university free speech should be allowed, right? Free speech should be allowed. But I'm pretty sure she probably doesn't agree with that uh, based off her views that we're going to get into in a minute. The professor also suggested her race could have played a factor. Tweeting after her removal, the white PBI director called the police on me. The professor also suggested her race could have played a factor. Tweeting after her removal, the white PBI, Pat Brown Institute director, called the police on me. So um, she's 
basically referencing the race of the director that allegedly called the police on her because she's trying to say, well, they called the police on her because she's black, aka it's the white man's fault, <laughs> right? It's the white man's fault. It's not my fault that I didn't buy a ticket and I think that I can get it here for free because I'm black. It's the white man's fault. Nothing is ever my fault. Oh my God. But I got questions because I'm looking at this lady and I'm like, you know, I don't think it's all that clear <laughs> that you're black, okay? Your last name is Abdullah, okay? Which is an Arab name, right? Because Arabic sounding name. And you're very light skinned. <laughs> I don't think it is obvious that you're black, but who knows? I mean, you know, she's maybe a well known professor in the area. Maybe, maybe uh, they knew that she was black. Who knows? I'm just saying, I don't think it's all that obvious. Videos of the incident show campus police officers each holding one of Adula's arms, lifting her from the seat and removing her from the premises. Several people who appeared to support Abdullah uh, stood in front of the officers blocking their path or yelled at them for their actions. Okay, so you have people that were obstructing <laughs> the police officers from being able to leave, right? So they stood in front of the police officers as they were dragging her out of the facility. Okay, not letting them enforce the law, right? Sounds like those people should be arrested as well. So yeah, she posted this video, okay? She claims that she was brutally uh, removed and that she had been teaching there for 20 years. So therefore, she has the right to be there, even though she doesn't have a ticket. Following the incident, Abdullah took to Twitter to respond to supporters thanking them. As a grassroots leader in LA, uh, Abdullah has played an active role in local and state politics, which include campaigning for... California Governor Gavin Newsom in 2021. During the campaign, Abdullah described Newsom's Republican opponent, Larry Elder, as a, quote, black face in white supremacy, aka a black man that thinks for himself, right? A black man that doesn't agree with the Democrat Party, okay? She has also supported controversial positions such as defending convicted cop killers and has called for the abolishment of police departments. She has also tweeted, F the police. Quote, don't be afraid to say abolish the police and other anti-police sentiments. <laughs> Sounds like um, this could not have happened to a nicer person, right? A more deserving person than her. By the way, it's a damn shame that we have <laughs> far leftist extremists that are uh, professors in our public universities, okay? This is the type of education that our tax dollars are funding here, guys. We're funding radical extremism being taught in college because there's no doubt in my mind that whatever classes she's teaching uh she's probably teaching radical extremism there's no doubt she most recently spoke out against tesla ceo elon musk's purchase of twitter calling him racist quote elon musk is a racist who owns tesla where black employees are regularly called the n-word and their workplace is named the slave house by supervisors when he buys Twitter, hate speech is sure to be mislabeled as free speech and enabled. Yeah, so she obviously doesn't believe in free speech. And, and that's why I said if uh, a conservative came on campus and said, hey, this is a public university. I should be allowed to speak freely. Uh, she probably wouldn't be OK with it. Right. She probably say, no, uh, this is hate speech. You're not allowed. But when it comes to her being able to attend a debate, uh, a debate, an event that required tickets to be there. Um, she wants to yell, no, this is a public university. I should be allowed to be here. Okay. But people shouldn't be allowed to speak freely or say things that she doesn't like on platforms. And she probably supports them not being able to say these things at public universities as well. By the way, isn't it amazing how, uh, Elon Musk is like the first African-American that I've seen be called racist <laughs> by the Democrat party. Okay. Uh, and look at how anti-immigrant the Democrat party is as well too. They really don't like this African-American immigrant, right? For the party that's supposed to love African-Americans and immigrants, they sure don't like uh, African-American immigrant Elon Musk. It's really something. The debate at the Cal University facility included five mayoral candidates that are leading in the polls. The participants includes LA City Councilman Joe Moscano, Representative Karen Bass, uh, Democrat Los Angeles, uh, businessman Rick uh, LaRosso, LA City Councilman uh, Kevin DeLeon, and LA City Attorney Mike Ferreira. The debate included several questions and comments about the city's ongoing homeless uh, crisis. Yeah, so again, this is a story of entitlement, okay? People who believe they don't have to follow rules in society, okay? This event required tickets for you to go, 
in which everybody there paid to go, um, which means that if you don't pay and you try to go anyways, that is theft, right? You're stealing, okay? Because you did not pay for the product that you're getting, okay? It, it's very simple. But again, like the criminals that this person probably supports, uh, she doesn't believe that she should be punished for theft, right? Which ironically has uh, plagued cities like Los Angeles and all these liberal cities across the country with this uptick in shoplifting, right? And the reason why that is happening uh, is because these people are being punished for their crimes, okay? And just like them, she doesn't believe that she should be punished for her crimes. And if you punish her for her crimes, then it's racism, right? She's going to play the victim card. It's because I'm black, right? The white director called the police on me, okay? Even though if you look at the lady, it's not very clear that she's actually black. I, I really don't know, right? She probably is, but I'm just saying. I'm not sure if that's the first thing that would pop up on our radar, Okay, but but hey, according to her, it can't be because she's stealing. It has to be because of her race, right? Which really is par for the course when it comes to these uh, lifetime victims and these race hustlers, right? They don't believe that they should face any consequences for their actions in society. Okay, uh, so with that being said, again, this could not have happened to a nicer person, and the people that tried to obstruct justice here uh, should also be arrested as well. And uh, yeah, lesson learned. No, you don't get to steal and get away with it. It doesn't matter what your skin color is. Let me know what you guys think. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Most importantly, share a black conservative perspective. Peace.